everyone, Stoutman coming at you once again, and today we're going to be talking about some things that I recently picked up because, well, I needed to have a few extra purchases on my card in order to get the whole free checking thing. You know how that goes sometimes, um, where you have to have a certain amount of purchases on your card or else they take a certain amount of money out of your bank for uh, fees and whatnot, you know, to you know, the maintenance fees or whatever for the account. I know a lot of you out there still have free checking where you don't have to put up with this shit, but I do. I do, and there aren't really that many options out there for, like, truly free checking around here that involve, uh, you know, not having to pay a thousand, or not not having to have, like, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars in your account at all times in order to ensure that they don't take out whatever each month, you know? So I figured, uh, this month I was only a few purchases away from being able to reach that threshold. Why not go for it? Why not do it? And I just spent some time on Amazon looking to see what they had, what kind of stuff was there for, like, I have a bunch of stuff on my uh, wish list there. A uh, bunch of Blu-rays, bunch of DVDs, bunch of this, bunch of that. So I went and looked at the Blu-rays and the DVDs, and I was looking for like you know the lowest priced items I could find. Things not only that I wanted right now, or things that I've been wanting for a while, but also things that were relatively cheap. So um, I was looking for things that would be cheap with free Prime shipping. So the idea was like to find things that were under five dollars each with Prime shipping and thanks to some resellers who work with Prime and some uh, and thanks to Amazon Warehouse and whatnot I was actually able to find some pretty cool deals now I will say not every one of these deals is going to appeal to all of you these are gonna be like you know hit and miss for a lot of you I'll, I'll, I'll throw that out there but I like every single one of these, and I'm very happy with them for a variety of reasons. So let's just, uh, let's get into it, shall we? First off, for about five bucks, I was able to pick up Gattaca, the special edition here on Blu-ray. Um, I believe it's got a few special features. Welcome to Gattaca featurette, original featurette, substance, test, outtake. Do not all, I don't know something and then deleted scenes <laughs> um i recall like the first time that i watched gattaca i found it kind of boring because i was you know not as into film i didn't really understand film that much back then uh but then i watched it again the second time and it really grew on me and um i remember this being quite an excellent film all things told maybe not the best film kind of a slower more selective science fiction film but I like slow science fiction films from time to time uh, you go you look back on something like sphere and that's fairly slow but I still enjoy it to this day Gattaca much the same thing and I've been wanting to see it again for a while so hey I got it on blu-ray that was about five bucks I believe on the dot so not bad and then for about four bucks on the dot I actually got a Disney movie that came with an unused, mind you, an unused Disney code, so I was able to use that, uh, for Chicken Little here, and yes, it's even in, in its original packaging from back in the day with the, uh, the swoosh that all the original Blu-rays had. I don't know if that makes it more or less valuable. I'm going to err on the side of probably less valuable. <laughs> But yes, uh, four bucks. Uh, I'm willing to bet there might even be a better version of this out there on Blu-ray. But uh, for four bucks, I wasn't going to say no. And I got the free 150 points for Disney Movie Rewards, so I was like, whatever. Works for me. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't like this movie. I recall enjoying it f quite well. Well, I don't know how to put this, right? Just that I remember liking it at about the rate of like a, maybe a 6 or a 7 out of 10 when I first saw it. So it's been long enough that I needed to revisit it. And uh, yeah. What better way than by being by picking up the Blu-ray for 4 bucks? 
at a four dollar rate, you know, that's what you pay for a fucking rental at a, at a video store, so pff, who cares? Four bucks, I own it now. <laughs> so those were the Blu-rays. These are the two Blu-rays that I was able to find for under five dollars or around five dollars. Not the best selection, but not horrible. But when I went into the DVD section, I actually found a couple of really cool things. First off, I found um, this one. Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Now, the reason that this is a big one for me is that I've been trying, waiting to get this one and trying to find the right particular copy of this to get because uh, I believe, as far as I've seen, the uh, every cut except for this one, every DVD of, except of this except for this one, is in four by three, which means that if you want to get the proper widescreen version of the movie, you have to get this one in the snapper case. All right, I don't like the snapper cases very much. Most people don't like the snapper cases. They're kind of old. They they were never very good. You know, I, I I understand. I agree. You know. But when it comes to getting the right version, making sure that it's a widescreen version of the movie, yeah, I will do that. I will get this if this is what it takes to get the right fucking version of the movie. I'm not going to buy this movie in 4x3, especially when a fucking 16x9 version of it exists out there. So, you know, you run the risk when you're ordering used online because this is out of print. So you run the risk when you're ordering used online of ordering this and hoping to get this and actually getting another version because the seller didn't know what the heck they were doing, right? I was very fortunate to get this, get the right version of it here for five bucks. So yeah, I'm very happy about that. And I know not everybody loves this movie, but it's one of those movies for me like uh, Super Mario Brothers, where maybe it's not the best movie ever. But I have fond memories of nostalgic, nostalgic memories of uh, watching it when I was a kid on HBO all the time. So, uh, yeah, I thoroughly enjoy this movie. Love this movie. And I watched it again right after I picked it up. And I have to say, it still holds up. I still enjoy this movie. So, yeah, Don't Tell Mom Babysitter's Dead still quite good. Quite frankly, I'd put it on the same level as, like, a Better Off Dead. It's... It's really, uh, honestly, it might even be better with age. I don't know. But anyways, last but not least here, and this one was a shocker for me because it was under $5. It was like four seventy-five or something like that. For the entire second volume, yes, second volume of Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. So you might recall that last year I picked up the first volume of Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers from... Go Hastings, and I was able to pick that up for like five bucks, maybe it was a little bit more than that, like six bucks or something like that, and I thought that was a pretty good deal. Can't beat four seventy-five for the second volume. I mean, I've got plenty of Chippendale Rescue Rangers to watch now, and this is pure nostalgia for me. It's purely me buying it for nostalgic reasons, because I have fond memories of watching this when I was a kid, was my favorite Disney a afternoon special kind of thing that they did. You know, they did all those, uh, they did the Tailspin, Darkwing Duck, DuckTales, and all that stuff. Liked DuckTales. My brother was more into Darkwing Duck than I was, but I liked Darkwing Duck. Uh, but my thing, the thing that I watched without fail all the fucking time, and even just, like, memorized the lyrics to the theme song for, was Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. So... With that much nostalgia behind it, with that kind of memory behind it, I had to, you know, even though I might not pick these up and watch them that much anymore, I, I just said, you know what, I, I, I should have this in my collection. I really, I really should. So, bam, four seventy five, and I've got both the first and second volume here on DVD. And yes, I checked, and they are in good condition. Very happy with that. So... All told, I picked up two DVDs and two Blu-rays, and it came to a cost of under $20. And 
with that, I was able to ensure that I would not have to pay $10 a month, or this month, for, uh, for the, uh, you know, the free checking thing. So, SCORE! And yes, that means I had to buy fucking Chicken Little, but, you know, most people would have a problem with that. I don't. I actually like the movie. So, yeah. Meh. <laughs> Anyways, that will do it. I have some more stuff to talk about next week. Some more things coming in. So hopefully they'll come in and, you know, we will see what I got then. But until then, I will catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Peace.